All right, guys. So obviously by the thumbnail, you already know um, we're going to be doing an aux port install on my uh, 2005 Cadillac Escalade EXV. Uh, once again, this should work with any 2000 to 2006 GM cars and trucks. Um, as long as your car has XM on it. Now, um, because I bought this conduct, well, here it is. This is the part number, 2740249. I bought this off eBay. You know, obviously you can find this on Radio Shack, but there's no Radio Shacks where I'm at currently open. So, you know, I just searched up that part number on eBay and I found it and I got both I got this little pack for um about like six dollars so I can't link a description because this was a one item thing from a seller so that's the part number I'm sure you could find more exactly like this even if it's not this exact brand and the way this works is um you know, give me one second while I uh take it out Okay, so it's just this little simple thing. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to solder three wires. This one right here is gonna be your ground. This one right here is gonna be your signal one. And of course, this last one right here is your signal two. Basically, this is like the left speakers and this is the right speakers. And then you need a ground. Um, so you're gonna have to solder the um, some wires and um, you'll see in the next part how like my wires end up looking. Um, you know, just make them long enough. If you got extra wire lengthwise, make them a decent length. Because I'm, I'm, you know, we're going to end up cutting them anyways. So, that's it. It's this piece, $5.99, a little aux cord. Um, my aux cord is about 10 bucks, so 6 bucks in this. Uh, $20, $25, you could get an aux port on your Escalade. And um, finally, get good quality um, music through your phone because I am tired of listening to the radio and that thing. And I don't use XM, so I'm going to end up deleting the wires on the XM side. You'll see what I'm talking about on this very next part of the video. So um, I'm going to solder these wires on, and then um, we'll go out to the truck. So let's go on to the next step. All right, guys. So now that we got our plug made for the little aux import, little aux port, sorry. Um, we need to get into the glove box. So as you can see, I already threw all my stuff on the floor. End up putting this down. And um, right here, you just push that back. And there you go. And the plug we're going to end up needing to use is this one right here. As you can see, there's a little blue tab. It's got a screwdriver. Um, you should be able to lift it up and then uh, give you access to pull off that. So I'm going to do that right now and then I'm going to show you what three wires we're going to hook up to. So what you guys need to understand is there's two ways of doing this. Um, way number one, you're basically just going to, you know, peel back on the three wires and just hook it up and this will still be connected. But on low volume, the XM the, will actually bleed through. So you're going to be able to hear it. Now, option number two, which is what I'm going to do because I don't even use XM. I mean, it has it on here, but I don't have a subscription. And 
I got Apple Music, so what do I need XM for? So what I'm gonna do is the three wires, um, you know, this is actually going to the stereo. So the three wires I'm gonna end up needing from here, I'm gonna cut them. So basically I'm cutting it and hooking it up like if it was going directly to the stereo. This plug will still be in, but those three wires, like your XM option will work, but you're not gonna hear anything. Why? Because we cut those three wires off. Cause I don't want none of the XM noise to bleed through. So again, the way this is gonna work is when you hit the, when you go to XM on your stereo, your little aux port you made, whatever music you're playing on your phone, that's how you're gonna hear it on these, on the XM wires. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't need XM, like I said, and I'd rather have no volume or any music bleeding through that's from XM. So, let's get to it. Okay. So, here is our plug. As you can see, um, you just pop this tab up and then it'll give you access to take it off. Um, before I get to this part, um, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put my plug at. Let's see. Um, a spot that I've picked out is I don't want to do it in this area because, as you can see, it's got like this wood trim. And if I feel like if I drew anywhere in this, it's gonna look real ugly or could even crack um, the plastic on here. So what I'm gonna do is I see this empty void right here. I'm a end up taking this uh, trim panel off and I'm gonna end up putting it right here um, once we have access to this the wires can easily run through back here and see here and that way we know you know that we got our wires way too long we can cut it so that we um, have them right up to the plug and it's perfect because like I said um Eventually, I am going to change the stereo. But, you know, I would love to hear my uh, music on my phone at least. And um, I do have an FM transmitter. They're garbage. They're always so staticky. Doesn't sound right. So, you know, I'd rather listen to it on an aux port. So, it's perfect. My phone will be here. Aux port here hook it up directly anytime I'm using it so I'm gonna end up taking this off take off this panel um, of course if you don't know how to take this off tilt the steering wheel all the way down this the shifter all the way down and you could uh, pull these just pushes off and real easy to do so I'm gonna do this I'm actually um, drill a hole <laughs> And then um, I'm going to put that port in place and hook it up to those wires. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So, so you can see I took the trim piece off. I took um, the little clip off and um, I got my port installed. So as you can see, problem is um, this this piece right here is pretty thick this one right here so like once you take that ring off that terminal it barely want to pass it barely wants to pass through so I'm gonna advise you take your time drilling like real small real small I ended up drilling a hole the size of this ring so they kind of like sat flush in there from the front and then just twisting it on. Um, I started with this just a little pilot hole. After that, I uh, got one of these and I just went 
little, 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 little by little. Just little by little, test it, little by little, test it. So that's why it's kind of like sitting pretty flush in there, as you can see. Because I had to actually drill a hole. Um, from, I did it from the front. I didn't do it on the rear because, you know, then the ring will just fall off. So it pushed in good enough and then I just twisted it on by hand. And so it's on there. So what I'm going to do next is uh, push the cables through here, right out here. Then we could get to the plug. Um, cut those wires. After that, then we should be all good. Then we can get an aux cord, test it out. So, I'm going to do that now. Alright guys, so, I got it all hooked up. So, if you remember, uh, let's see. Remember, it's got three prongs. The prong that's hanging down, that's your ground. And down one, it's like I said, remember I cut it because I don't want it. This is still going to be plugged into the XM and I just got to put some electrical tape on these. But I left them uncovered just so you could see. Um, so the black and white is your ground. And um, the two prongs that were, um, you know, sticking straight out. The one on top. That is your signal one, which for me was that red on here. And I ended up putting that to the brown and white, which is right here, but it's cut and it's right here now. But it's the brown and white. And then the signal two went to the green and white, which of course, again, is cut, but it's right there. That's it. So I gotta put some electrical tape, plug it back up, put everything back up, put all that back. Next step, just testing it out. So let's go on to the next step. All right, guys. So this is the final product right there. Looks factory. Like, looks really, really good. Um, I tested it out. And like I said, you just have to go on to your XM setting and um, you start playing music on your phone once you have your aux hooked up and it works crystal, crystal clear. Like, um, I'm going to show you what I've been, what I was using. I was using this FM transmitter. Thank God I don't have to use it anymore. Anyways, like I said, I am going to replace the stereo. But, you know, you want to hear music, and sometimes the music on the radio, um, they're not playing anything good. So, I'd rather listen to what I got on my phone. It sounds crystal clear. Honestly, if you are not using your factory XM, cut those wires like I showed you. That way you have no XM bleed through. Anyways, when I replace the stereo... I don't buy an XM antenna for it to, you know, keep it. So I really don't care about it. The only time I've ever used XM was on our 2019 Durango, and that's because it came with a free preview. That's about it. But it, I'm going to link. Actually, I can't link it because it was an item I bought on eBay. But I'm going to take a picture um, of the jack that I bought. I bought the same one off another guy on the video. It was an older video, so I wanted to make a little updated one. But to search up the part number, um, it was from Radio Shack. So obviously, you know, I don't have a Radio Shack on my area open still. And I think I spent maybe six bucks for two of them on eBay. And. I would say at least buy a decent quality aux cord. This one was about like $10, $10, $10, $15, I think. You know, don't buy a little 
three dollar one you know spend a little bit extra it sounds crystal clear it sounds like it's playing on the radio you get no interference no bleed through nothing it sounds perfect like if you were on bluetooth so i'm excited this is on a 2005 cadillac escalade exv it honestly works the same for all gm cars with the xm option um you don't have to go back there you could go on back of the stereo but it's much easier just right there you know you got access to it just take the glove box off it's right there easy unfortunately you know the phone i'm recording on right now is the one on my music so i can't even test that i don't have another phone i could test right now to show you guys but trust me it works crystal clear i'm excited about it finally get to listen to my own music in this because i know to get that stereo it was gonna be at least maybe two three months down the road so for now i got this so great like i said six bucks for that maybe 10 15 dollars so 20 dollars max is what i spent wire i had extra wire so i didn't spend anything so a little you know this literally took me if i was a recording and pausing and trying to show you guys everything i could probably f finish this in maybe 15 minutes so it took me about a half 30 to 40 minutes to get it done recording and everything but once again this is on a escalade it should work on a tahoe yukon yukon excel suburban any gm vehicle with an xm option hope you enjoyed um, check out more videos on this truck and i'll catch you guys on the next one oh, oh, oh.